Ready, aim, fire. The shooting, hunting, outdoor trade show and conference is open for business. Hi everyone, you're watching SHOT Show TV. I'm Rachel Kopchak and the 38th annual SHOT Show is underway. I'm here at Industry Day at the range where it's all about that hands-on experience. This one-of-a-kind show and tell event brings gun, archery, and hunting manufacturers, dealers, buyers, retailers, and the media together. It's SHOT Show and this is, this is the highlight of my day, just come out here and pulling the trigger. It's always great when you get to see someone come up to the, uh, come up to the rifle, some people who are, are experts who have been snipers in our military and law enforcement communities, and they pull the trigger on it from the person that's never fired a rifle before, and they come up and they shoot a Barrett for the first time in their life, and the, the grin on their face uh, is just is fantastic. We make military-grade rifles, we make uh, ARs, we make grenade launchers, and uh, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase that for the products that we make with the rest of the industry. So we came out here today, we have a new ambidextrous 5.56 rifle system. We call it our MARS, Modular Ambidextrous Rifle System. Um, and we were lucky enough that as we developed this product, we entered into an opportunity and we just outfitted the entire New Zealand Defense Force with that rifle system. New this year for Caracal is that the rifles behind me here that I've just shot, the CAR 814 and 816, are produced in the United States. So we are we're gonna service this market from this market as we have been working towards for the last uh, five years or so. We have some new products that are um, for HK at a new price range and everybody is super excited about the, the VP9 that we came out with last year. And now this year, new to the SHOT Show, we have the VP40 and the P30SK in different variants. We have our new MR762 A1 long rifle package too. And the feedback so far has been very phenomenal for us. The sound of gunfire is sure to get everybody in the mood for SHOT Show 2016. Now here at Industry Day at the range, it's just one of many learning opportunities here. SHOT Show TV's Raquel Rodriguez explains. Thanks Rachel, SHOT Show is helping seasoned retailers to new operators stay up to date on best practices at SHOT Show University. Here, attendees learn how to effectively use social media as a marketing strategy. For instance, Facebook will never boost a post with a picture of a gun or knife in it. You'll need to brainstorm creative solutions to get around that policy. Here are some social media do's. Use Instagram. The more frequent you post, the more followers you'll pick up. Always use images when posting. Text-only posts don't necessarily get shared as much. And use hashtags that aren't as popular. For example, instead of hashtag shooting, Try hashtag for shots or range time. There's also one big don't. If you do get into some, I call it nastiness, uh, you don't have to engage. Ban and delete is your best friend. Like I said, I work with outdoor TV personalities, so banning and deleting is what I do. You don't need to engage. Media will reach out to you sometimes. You don't even need to engage with them. We do a lot of social media work. Uh, we have our agency that helps us on this. and. Uh, even with all the hard work we do, there's always a lot of things we can learn, and so it's really helpful to pick up uh, outside tips and hear the feedback from the room. Connecting with new customers isn't the only challenge small business owners face. Keynote speaker Gene Mark says one of the biggest issues for small business owners is the increasing costs and regulations to run their company. For instance, when you're looking to hire, you need to consider the Affordable Care Act, overtime rules, potential minimum wage pressures, and more. As I look forward, it's going to be somewhat of an uncertain year. Um, you know, I can tell you this much, um, unless you are really, really sure of what you're going to invest in and expand, I would hold on to your money for the next six to 12 months and wait to see how the landscape in Washington pans out. And depending on where that direction goes, uh, then you make some decisions how you want to spend it. Speaking of preparing your business for the future, healthcare can be a big concern. And joining me now is Deb Kenny with NSSF and Ryan Lawless with Schuster Driscoll to talk about the firearms industry health advantage. Thank you both for joining us. What do you want folks to know about this? Thanks, Raquel. Um, well, first of all, at National Shooting Sports Foundation, it is super important to us that we provide valuable benefits for our members. And in doing that, what we have discovered is companies and individuals are struggling with health care costs. 
And so we we partnered with Schuster Driscoll, the healthcare experts, to provide a benefit that exactly addresses this from a cost perspective and for ease. And I'd like for Ryan to help explain exactly what that's going to do for our members. Thank you, Deb. And Ryan, talk to me a little bit about these benefits that members can experience. Great, Raquel. Thank you. Yeah, there's a number of different benefits involved in this program. Uh, dental, hearing, and vision are all major benefits of the program, but the program is really highlighted around Teladoc. Teladoc is a 24-7 doctor by telephone program that has no copay when you make that call and receive those services. So that's really the highlight of the program. You know, this is a way for employers through the pressures that they're facing from Obamacare, this is a way for them to give back to their employees and give them back some of the benefits that they've been forced to take away over the years. Definitely, and if attendees want to know more at SHOT Show, where should they go, Deb? Sure. Well, here at the National Shooting Sports Foundation Member Services booth, we're going to have information. Ryan and our partners at Schuster Driscoll will be on hand to talk with people. To, you can sign up here at the show. You can, we can answer questions. Additionally, we're having a member uh, benefit uh, reception, and we're going to be at the member benefit reception as well. So I encourage all of our members to come talk to us about this. I, I use Teladoc myself. In fact, Ryan spoke about that, and I wanted to see how the system worked. I had the opportunity to use it. I received a telephone call from a doctor within six minutes. It was a board-certified doctor who easily helped diagnose what my problem was and called in a prescription for me. I didn't lose time from work. It didn't cost me a copay, and my employer did not have a cost associated with that particular service as well. So you just can't beat this. With Obamacare, the uncertainty, the cost that's escalating, both employers and employees are suffering from this. And so this Teladoc program, this ancillary benefit that we provided, we really feel is going to be a solution for employers and employees to help address the cost that, that is burdened everybody. Yeah, definitely a great benefit that you'll want to check out here at SHOT Show. Thank you, Deb. Thank you, Ryan. Back to you, Rachel. Thanks, Raquel. Now, as you plan your schedule for the week, you'll want to add the Arsenal and KVAR booths to your list. And I'm joined now by Walker English, the Senior Sales Director of Arsenal, to tell us why. So what do you guys have going on here? Well, we're one of the sponsors, major sponsors of the Nevada Veterans War Memorial. In May of 2016, they're going to have the grand opening we're of a two-acre park here in Las Vegas of the Nevada Veterans War Memorial, and it's going to be covering all the wars that the United States has been involved in, from the Revolutionary War up to the armed conflicts we're in now. As you see behind me, we've got one of the mock-ups that you would actually see out at the War Memorial. This is, of course, Vietnam-era mock-up, and we're just very proud to be a sponsor of it. We're also very thankful for NSSF and Freeman for helping us out and being a sponsor of it and having it here at the SHOT Show. Tell us a little more about what people will be able to experience probably at next SHOT Show, but even if they come back to Vegas at the Veterans Memorial, what will it be like there? It's an open air park, very similar to what you might see in Washington, D.C., where you can walk through, see the different statues. If you've got a family, maybe explain to them the different armed conflicts and how We've been a nation that has always stood up for the Second Amendment and been willing to fight for our freedoms. And that's what this park is all about, showing the fighting men and women of the United States and the armed conflicts we've been in throughout our history. And you are also a veteran. So what does all of this mean for you to be a part of this park and arsenal and being involved in this wonderful project? I am a uh, non-combat veteran, United States Marine Corps. Um, it's very special to me to work for a company that is so in touch with the um, needs of our veterans. This is just one of the things they do, sponsoring this war memorial, but Arsenal Inc. is also um, very active in the veterans community, trying to help out in any way that they can. And it's, it's a very special, there's many veterans that work for Arsenal, and we're very proud of all of them. And what better place to showcase these than right here at SHOT Show, where many veterans are, right? It is. It, it seems very fitting to be able to have it here at SHOT Show. We know that in the firearms industry, um, a lot of us just kind of gravitate to it after we get out of the military. And um, it's something that we've known, we enjoy, we want to pass it along to our family, the next generation. And so it's very fitting for it to be here at the SHOT Show. All right. Thanks so much, Walker. We appreciate it. You can come on down at SHOT Show and check it out here inside the Arsenal and KVAR booths.
Remember, the trade show floor is open until 5.30 p.m. on Tuesday. It will reopen Wednesday and Thursday from 8.30 till 5.30 p.m. And on Friday, the trade show floor opens at 8.30 a.m. and closes at 4. Meanwhile, for those who have registered as SHOT Show Media, say hello to your home base. The NSSF Press Room is located in the Venetian Hotel Level 3 Murano Ballroom. In here, you'll have access to interview rooms and business services. On Tuesday, the press room is open from 7.30 a.m. until 6 p.m. and on Wednesday and Thursday from 7.30 a.m. until 6.30 p.m. On Friday, the press room opens at 7.30 a.m. and closes at 3. You can also take advantage of SHOT Show's free shuttle bus service to and from the Sands Expo and official SHOT Show hotels. Buses depart on the Level 1 lobby of the Venetian just past the new product center. For times, see page 29 in the SHOT Show tracker. The anticipation is building as the SHOT Show floor is almost ready to open. In the meantime, here is some advice from some SHOT Show veterans on how to make the most of your time come with a strategy so that you can go to the booths that you want to see and be able to cover the show. Otherwise, you won't be able to see all the show in the four days. So be prepared, do your homework, and when you get here, you'll be ready to go and work from daylight to dark. You need more time than you, you might realize, right? There's a lot to see. Um, grab a directory, make a good list of who you want to see, and go to those places, those booths first, because you're going to get lost. There's a lot of gems in this place. And as the trade show floor opens, don't forget your business cards and make sure to bring a jacket. On Tuesday, the high is 60 degrees with a low of 44. The cooler temperatures didn't get in the way of a fun run. Attendees laced up their running shoes for a moose on the loose 5K. In the future, the group would like it to become a charity run. Attendees can also look forward to the 2016 State of the Industry Dinner with entertainer Jeff Foxworthy. Once you buy your ticket, the cocktail reception begins at 5.30 p.m. at the Venetian Hotel Level 5 in the Palazzo Ballroom. All right, that is it for SHOT Show TV. We will be bringing you coverage all week long of all of the action happening, and you can watch it on your hotels, tourism, and convention channel, and of course, on SHOT Show's YouTube page. You'll check it out all right there. I'm Rachel Kopchak. Thank you for watching SHOT Show TV. Ever want to accessorize your tactical rifle? Then you want the tactical excellence of Gun Tech USA. Gun Tech, a family-owned and operated manufacturer of tactical accessories for AR-15, AR-10, and AK-47 style rifles. For nearly three decades, Gun Tech USA has been producing the finest quality pistol grips, rail systems, scope mounts, slings, compensators, flash hiders, hand guards, iron sights, and more. Check online at GunTechUSA.com to see their vast selection of parts and accessories and to locate a dealer near you. Whether you do your own gunsmithing or you have it done, when customizing your tactical rifle, insist on tactical excellence. Insist on GunTech USA parts. GunTech, a proud supporter of the Second Amendment and friends of Arms Room Radio. Check them out online today at GunTechUSA.com. That's G-U-N-T-E-C-U-S-A.com. GunTech USA. Defining tactical excellence for over 26 years. Mother Nature's harshest conditions call for the toughest kind of gear. That's why Frog Tog's Pilot Fabric Technology is designed to withstand the worst of the worst. Pilot Fabric Technology is Frog Tog's highest waterproof and breathability rating of any suit we build. The first layer is soft to the touch, but tough as nails and treated with durable water repellent. This stops the fabric from soaking up any water or liquids and prevents it from becoming weighted down in heavy rain. The middle layer consists of Frog Tog's famous dry pore micropore film. It pores 20,000 times smaller than a drop of water. This keeps the water and moisture from penetrating the fabric, yet allows heat vapor to escape, making it waterproof and breathable. The third layer of the Pilot technology is a soft material that provides a comfortable experience that comes with only the highest quality rain wear. Frog Tog's technology guarantees you keep doing what you love.
When you need a weapon, time is precious. Great Day's center lock overhead gun rack is mounted within arm's reach and can mean the difference between you and your family being survivors or statistics. It fits most crew cab pickups and SUVs with center door posts. Our quick draw gun rack for Jeep Wrangler also installs quickly without drilling or bolting so it won't void your vehicle manufacturer's warranty. Great Day is America's premier gun rack manufacturer. All of our racks are framed with military grade aluminum and finished in durable powder coated enamel. Guns are held securely in cushion moldable gun clips with Velcro straps that adjust to different sizes and styles of guns. Visit booth 919 for these and other quality products proudly made in the USA by Great Day. Did you know there's a way to promote your business while at the same time introducing new and diverse people to the shooting sports? The National Shooting Sports Foundation's First Shots program does exactly that. NSSF's member ranges use the First Shots program to not only help individuals get started, but also as a way to showcase their businesses to the community and demonstrate how our industry promotes safe and responsible firearms ownership. Within six months of attending a First Shots event, 43% of participants return to the host range an average of six times, and 49% have spent an average of six $681 on equipment. For information on how to bring first shots to your range, visit firstshots.org. I think the next president has to be someone that will protect the Second Amendment, not support gun control. We need the Second Amendment. We can't have it chopped up. But if it is going to be changed, it's got to be done through a process, not through executive orders. 
as it relates to guns, it's better to do it at the state level, better to do it respectful of the law-abiding citizens that are not part of the problem. On guns, my mind has evolved over the course of time, but look at my actions over the last six years as governor. They have been consistent in protecting Second Amendment rights. We're not seeing the Republicans doing anything on this issue, and I think the president is doing what the American people would like him to do. Senator Sanders has been a pretty reliable vote for the uh, gun lobby, and I have been standing against them for a long time, voted against them when I was a senator. So many people that believe in the gun control, when we have these debates, they always lose the debate to me. 